Hello, I am Kyle of Give Paws Hobby. We're back in the element. We are uh, en route to Madison. And I thought, what better place than, you know, the what I've done before. Stop, get a little bit of my uh, headspace back on the, the road trip and talk a little bit about music. So this is the eighth, uh, the final week of this current, you know, push for asymmetric exercises. Um, and we finally have the otters. It, it, it's been a, a long time coming. Um, I've had this idea for a while, just like with the Vagabond. Um, I talked about at some point I need to do something with mutes. Um, for the otters, uh, the, I think the reason why they've been like work in progress for so long is because again, I always sort of assumed like at some point I need to do something with multiple tonguing. So for those of you who don't play a wind instrument, um, you might say, what on earth is multiple tonguing? Um, so usually when we are, at least on brass instruments, uh, some of the woodwinds are a little bit different, but on brass instruments, we're typically uh, like the backs of our teeth, our tongues kind of like where our teeth and our, our hard palate uh, c uh, connect. Somewhere in that region is where we kind of stop the air. And I, what I liken it to for my students is putting your thumb on the end of a hose. When your tongue goes forward, it's like clamping your thumb down. And when you release your tongue, when you go ta, 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 is when you let the air out or the, the water out of that hose. Um, so you can only go so fast. You can only articulate so fast. You're like ta, 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 ta. Um, I have my... Uh, I have my, my guard horn here um, since I'm going out on the road for two weeks. Um, didn't want to bring my own personal one. So it's a uh, different color and shinier. Um, so let's see. Here is, um, so I'm just, this is what we refer to as just tonguing at first. And once teachers make uh, multiple tonguing known to their students, from then on refer to as single tonguing. So it's just ta, 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 ta. There are times when, when I've I've built up my single tonguing um, to a pretty fast tempo, but at, but at a certain point you just can't go any faster. You can only go ta -ta 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 -ta, so fast, and then music just outpaces you. So what multiple tonguing is, is you're actually using um, so your your dental consonants and your uh, glottal, um, or is that is that what it is, or is it velars? I can't remember. Either way, um, so you're either using your D or or T, da 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 or ta ta ta, um, which if you want to get uh, fancy another way, voiced or unvoiced. D is voiced because you can d, you can't t. If you're doing a t, you can't have that like n noise. Um, <laughs> You heard it here first. Same thing with on the back side. We're going to be using our either our G's or our K's. G's are voiced, g, go away. <laughs> but K's are, k, you can't voice a K. Um, and so what we're going to be doing, if this is the back of our teeth and our tongues are single tonguing, contacting here, multiple tonguing, we're bouncing back. We're going ta. Ka, ta, 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 and it bounces back and forth. This is what's known as double tonguing. So again, single tonguing, double tonguing. So it's bouncing. You're you're essentially doubling the speed that you can because before you were needing to rebound and come back to your teeth for every one of those articulations, but when you're using the backside. Two ku two ku two ku two ku two or daga 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 daga. Um, this is that much faster. What we're using in this exercise is actually triple tonguing. Um, so and and you might go, what does that mean? Like, it, is this like teeth, back of mouth right, back of mouth left, back of like tuku 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 tuku. Um, that would be awesome, but no, that's not how it works. So triple tonguing is typically is it's done two ways. Um, a little bit of rain coming in, so we'll see how loud this gets. Um, you're either going two ku two, two ku two, two ku two, um, which is the mm, kind of like gnarlier version. There are some reasons why you would want to do that and why I use it for certain uh, exercises, 
but the more common one is two two coup. So two two coup two two coup two two coup, um, two at the front and one at the back. Uh, so again, double tonguing or sorry, single tonguing, double tonguing, triple tonguing. For some music, the beats aren't divided in two; they're divided in three. So triple tonguing becomes your only real option. Um, you can't divide up things that are presented in three in twos; otherwise, you have like weird groupings. Um, but uh, so I thought, you know, I can't, I can't put together even a lighthearted, just kind of for fun trumpet exercise project. The teacher and trumpet player in me can't in good faith put something together without at least one that's multiple tonguing i've used it in some of the other stuff but it hasn't been the feature when i talked about how i built up speed on my single tonguing before is it's because if we're being realistic what we want to have is you know if this is my single tonguing range and this is my double tonguing range we want a lot of overlap we want to be able to say i can go up to this tempo single tonguing and then I can't go any faster and that's double. But we want our double tonguing not to start there, but to be available a lot earlier. Um, for one, it's just good to have, um, you know, that, that broader window so you can switch where you need to. If you needed to get up to a certain tempo before double tonguing was usable, that is a really brittle kind of skill set. It's only available at that certain speed. For the other reason, it's almost more important Conductors are human. Um, they're not always going to go exactly the same tempo. Some of them come incredibly close. Um, however, a lot of times a, a passage in a piece of music might be just on the cusp of needing to go to double or triple tonguing. And if, if you're only comfortable with it at that certain tempo, all it takes is for them to be a little bit under that. Suddenly you just can't articulate the way you need it to. That's all a whole bunch of, that's a big, uh, my trumpet pedagogy uh, corner. It's a, a big, you know, bite of this one. So for, for this exercise, I just thought that, I mean, what, what, what else would the otters be if not just like fast talking? I'm kind of envisioning um, someone at a, an auction, an auctioneer, or, uh, you know, like a really, uh, a, a fast talking like used car salesman um, and what other way to represent that than multiple tonguing especially in the line where it's going back and forth between duple and triple it's something like uh, it's I don't know the, the exact pairing but um, it sort of just like bounces back and forth between those two so it, and, and everyone is quick like a burst at the beginning has like something to be said and then it goes, duh, 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 the thing at the end. And it's kind of like this sudden sales pitch where the person's like, hey, sounds pretty good, huh? It's only available for this time, huh? It's like a Kickstarter uh, page. And then it just like duh, 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 ends and then they move on. Um, and I guess at the end, it it's like the harmonic, like, or the, the melodic kind of resolution at the end to me implies that after maybe all of those sales pitches, um, he sort of like seals the deal at the end. And um, so I thought it was, it was kind of fun. So this is, uh, yeah, this is the last one for a while. Um, I, I've i really had a lot of fun in these two months of making these crazy things. It, uh, it's been really rewarding. I will be kind of revisiting all of all of them. I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna be changing the music that much. I might be adding in some dynamics and articulation, just like kind of really nitty gritty sort of stuff. But more importantly, now that I've done the eight of them, which I kind of just allowed my own, uh, I don't know, inspiration to decide, to dictate what order, what the order would be, 
now I'm kind of, I want to make it available for anyone who wants to download it to, to do so um, and to enjoy it. But I want to now put a little bit more thought into the order. Um, yeah, I wouldn't necessarily put this one last. I honestly haven't even really given it that much thought, but I might not put the crows first. I, you know, it just sort of, I, I need to take a, a good hard think about, it, it's a very like scattershot of, of abilities and, um, or, or techniques rather. So it's not like this is a one-stop shop, like learn the trumpet with these eight exercises. It's just sort of like a hodgepodge of things that the trumpet can do. And, um, but even still, I think there's a more sensible order of them. So uh, at some point, I'm going to release that in in that format, in, in all eight of them put together. Again, way down the road, um, I'm also going to be adding the other two, um, Badgers and the Rats. But I would, it, somewhere around there, maybe when the music is available to download, um, I would really like to make a video that's just all eight of them. Um, that suggestion was made at one point in a comment, and I think it's a good one um, to just say, and none of the talking, it's just the eight exercises in whatever order I wind up doing for this book uh, or, or the packet or whatever. So, um, yeah, it's it's been it's been a lot of fun. Hopefully, if you are regular regularly tuning in for these exercises, you've enjoyed the the ride as much as I have. Um, there's more to be had. Uh, it's it's kind of giving me a reason, like a kick in the butt, to get my website back up and running. Which this whole year that I've had Give Pause up and running, I've wanted to rehabilitate my website, which was sort of a one trick pony to to sell some music that I had available. Um, but I want to make a, a landing page that like, as opposed to just the YouTube page that has all the different like you know, things broken up by game or by subject or whatever it may be. And this is kind of giving me a reason to really start that project up again. So, uh, stay tuned. Not well, new website essentially, uh, to most people. Um, but rehashed website technically. And, uh, yeah, whatever we got coming up uh, on the pike in the future. But, um, I'm really digging this rain. We've been haven't had rain in Minnesota for at least a week and a half, so woohoo! Um, have a great day. Thanks again for tuning in, uh, and I will see everyone next time.